Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving different types of numerical or algebraic expressions and equations. What is the solution of an equation? A solution of an algebraic equation is a number that makes the sentence true. Before we're going to discuss about solving routine and non-routine problems involving algebraic expressions or equations, let's solve first each problem. Twice a number increased by 24, the result is 60. What is the number? To answer this mathematical statement, we're going to translate into an algebraic equation. So, let M be a number. We can use any letter or symbol to represent a number. But here, we're going to use M as a number. So, twice a number, it means 2M, increased by addition, 24, the result is 60. So, it's equal to 60. To find the value of M, we're going to combine like terms. So, we're going to transpose 24 to the other side of the equation. But don't forget to change the sign of the number that you're going to transpose. So, from positive 24, it becomes negative 24. The remaining item on our left side is 2m is equal to 60 minus 24. So, 2m is equal to 36. To get the value of m, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 2. 2m divided by 2 is cancelled. Then the remaining item is m. 36 divided by 2 is equal to 18. This is our number. Okay, let's check if our answer is correct or not. We're going to use the original equation. 2m plus 24 is equal to 60. We're going to substitute the value of m. 2 times 18 plus 24 is equal to 60. 2 times 18 is equal to 36 plus 24 is equal to 60. Then the other side of our equation is also 60. As you can see that our equation is balanced. Therefore, our answer is correct. Another problem. 9 less than thrice a number is 33. What is the number? To solve this mathematical statement, we're going to translate into an algebraic equation. So let x be a number. The algebraic equation of 9 less than thrice a number is 33. Is 3x minus 9 is equal to 33. Then we're going to combine like terms. We're going to transpose negative 9 to the other side of the equation and it becomes positive 9. So 3x is equal to 33 plus 9. So 3x is equal to 42. To find the value of x, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 3. 3x divided by 3 is equal to x. 42 divided by 3 is equal to 14. This is our number. Then let's check to know if our answer is correct or not. We're going to use the original equation. 3x minus 9 is equal to 33. 3 times 14 minus 9 is equal to 33. So 3 times 14 is equal to 42 minus 9 is equal to 33. Then the other side of our equation is also 33. This means that our equation is balanced. Therefore, our answer is correct. Now let's solve a routine problem. Catherine saved 100 pesos this week from her allowance. If this amount is 40 pesos more than twice the amount she saved last week, how much did she save last week? To solve this problem, we're going to use the four-step plan. First is we're going to understand the problem. What is asked in this problem? It is asking for the amount she saved last week. 
Next is we're going to know what are the given facts. The given facts are 100 pesos, she saved it for this week. 40 pesos, more than twice the amount she saved last week. The next step is we're going to formulate a plan. In this problem, we're going to translate the word phrase into an algebraic equation. So, let x be the amount she saved last week. The algebraic equation of 40 pesos more than twice the amount she saved last week is 2x plus 40 is equal to 100. We have already a plan. The next step is we're going to carry out the plan. Let's solve the problem. Our algebraic equation is 2x plus 40 is equal to 100. To solve this algebraic equation, we're going to combine like terms. 40 here is a constant, and 100 is a constant, so they are like terms. We're going to combine 140. How are we going to do it? By just transposing 40 to the other side of the equation. But don't forget to change the sign. From positive, it becomes negative. Then, the remaining item in our left side is 2x. Just bring down equals and 100. So, bring down 2x equals 100 minus 40 is equal to 60. To find the value of x, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient of x, which is 2. Then 2x divided by 2 is equal to x. 60 divided by 2 is equal to 30. Therefore, she saved 30 pesos last week. Alright, we have already an answer to our problem. The last step is we're going to check to know if our answer is correct or not. We're going to use the original equation. 2x plus 40 is equal to 100. Then, let's substitute the value of x, which is 30. So, 2 times 30 plus 40 is equal to 100. 2 times 30 is equal to 60 plus 40 is equal to 100. 60 plus 40 is equal to 100. And the other side of our equation is also 100. As you can see, our equation is balanced. Therefore, our answer is correct. Next is we're going to solve a non-routine problem. The average of three numbers is 33. The first number is twice the second number. And the third number is one-third of the first number. What are the three numbers? To solve this problem, we're going to use the four-step line. Let's understand the problem. What is asked in this problem, we're going to find the three numbers. What are the given facts? The given facts are the average of three numbers is 33. The first number is twice the second number. The third number is one-third of the first number. We already understand the problem. The next step is we're going to formulate a plan. In this problem, we're going to translate word phrases into an algebraic equation. We're going to find the three numbers. It is said that the first number is twice the the second number. So, the first number has a word phrase. The third number is one-third of the first number. Likewise, the third number has a word phrase. Do we have a word phrase for the second number? Alright, there's none. So, let x be the second number. 
to find the first number, we're going to translate the word phrase. The first number is twice the second number. So, twice means two, and the second number is x. Therefore, our first number is 2x. For the third number, it is said that one-third of the first number. So, our first number is 2x, and one-third means divided by 3. Therefore, our third number is 2x divided by 3. These are the three numbers. Our next step is we're going to find the total. Since the average of three numbers is equal to 33, to get the total is we're going to multiply 33 by 3, which is equal to 99. Therefore, our algebraic equation is x plus 2x plus 2x over 3 is equal to 99. All right, we have already a plan. Our next step is we're going to carry out the plan. We're going to solve the problem. Our algebraic equation is x plus 2x plus 2x divided by 3 is equal to 99. To solve this algebraic equation, first is we're going to eliminate 3 as our denominator. How we can do it? By just dividing. The multiplicative inverse of one-third, which is equal to 3. So, 3 times x is equal to 3x. 3 times positive 2x is equal to positive 6x. 3 times positive 2x is equal to positive 6x divided by 3 is equal to positive 2x. 3 times 99 is equal to 297. Next is we're going to combine like terms. 3x plus 6x plus 2x is equal to 11x. Then just bring down equals 297. To find the value of x, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient of x, which is 11. So, 11x divided by 11 is equal to x. 297 divided by 11 is equal to 27. As we all know that, our second number is x. Therefore, our second number is 27. To find the first number, which is 2x, we're going to substitute the value of x, which is 27. 2 times 27 is equal to 54. This is our first number. Our third number is 2x divided by 3. So 2 times 27 is equal to 54 divided by 3 is equal to 18. And this is our third number. Therefore, the three numbers are 54, 27, and 18. Fantastic! We have already an answer to our problem. The last step is... We're going to check to know if our answer is correct or not. So, we're going to use our original equation. x plus 2x plus 2x divided by 3 is equal to 99. This time, we're going to substitute the value of x, which is 27. So, for our first number, x, this is equal to 27 plus our second number is 2x. This is 2 times 27. Our third number is 2x over 3. This is equal to 2x, 2 times 27, divided by 3, which is equal to 99. So, let's simplify. Bring down 27 plus 2 times 27 is equal to 54. 2 times 27 divided by 3 is equal to 18. Then just bring down equals 99. Then we're going to add 27 
plus 54 plus 18 is equal to 99. Then the other side is 99 also. As you can see, our equation is balanced. Therefore, our answer is correct. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. And thank you for watching.